Insects with Lake Superior Lichen. Lake Superior Lichen here. Sorry, I gotta get in my narration insect uh, voice here. <clears throat> Hello. Today we are going to feature a possible destructive insect called Dermistes lardarius, or commonly known as larder beetles moisture bugs, or even carpet beetles. They are, they are also bookworms in its larval stage. These guys are found all over the world and are common in areas that have their favorite foods, such as pet food, dried, dried meats, fur and hides, leather, insulation, and in, spe in this specific case, books. Take a look at this. This is damaged this damage was done specifically by these guys in this we're looking at here today. So if you ever see little holes bored into your books, it could be these guys. Bookworms are a general term used for any insect that'll bore into books. These guys, Larder beetles, Dermistes lardarius. Not to mix you up with other bookworms, because there's bookworms is a common term for any insect or or uh, worm, I guess you could say, that bores into books. You can see in the corner where my f finger is. That is what it looks like at its larval stage. And down there too, down in there. So the larval beetle, larval, larvae, look like small hairy spiny caterpillars, usually red, brown, or black. The little hairs on them are called setae, S-E-T-A-E. -E. For those of you wanting to know proper entomolog entomological terms, larger beetles are easy to identify. They have a yellow or, or tan marking on their elytron. Elytron, I explained in my other video. It's basically the shoulder or back or uh, wing covering. And these guys are about one centimeter long. These guys usually enter homes through little cracks and can do some serious damage if left unnoticed. They will lay eggs in the spine of a buck, about 135, and they hatch within 12 days. The entire life cycle is about 45 days. They do not bite humans or spread disease. The signs of infestation include small fecal pellets, excessive book dust, holes in the items like you saw earlier, and the larval shell casings, which you can see in the bottom of this little jar. Let me dump these guys out here. Let's get a closer look. Hope you enjoyed my video. Like and subscribe.
bear with me here. Now that's the three dots.